Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tony Stewart's All American Racing. Once again, we're going to be checking out the career mode today and build our racing empire, as it says right there. So let's get started. Ever since I started racing in go karts, you know, when I was eight years old, my focus and my mindset has always been the dirt track racing. It's the feeder system, first of all. I mean, there's more dirt tracks than pavement tracks around the country. And if you're gonna to get to a major form of motorsports, you don't have to run dirt to get there, but the majority of the guys that really rise to the top, it seems like, have some sort of a dirt track background and really understand that car control. You know, on any given night, I'm out at those tracks as a driver, car owner, track promoter, series owner. Or if you catch me on the right evening, I may be all those things in just a single event. It's all about the people that you surround yourself with. If you have good quality people, then it makes that job and the goals of winning races and winning championships a lot easier. Brett and Eddie and I have kind of always been a triangle that, you know, we always bounce the ideas off of each other. And Eddie's the guy that kind of works with a lot of the sponsors and keeping my schedule straight and, and keeping details organized. And Brett's the dollars and cents guy. He's the business guy. He's the guy that has to make the finances work. Having those key people in place allow me the opportunity to take the time to be the driver. Each time that you have to make a decision, make sure you put those other variables out of your head and just focus on the one decision you're making at the time. So as a driver, focus on the driving side. You know, when it comes to the ownership side, worry about being a business guy. Each time we've expanded, we've obviously taken on a little more risk, but I don't really look at that part of it. I look at the opportunity it creates. Maybe it wasn't the path I set out to build for myself, but it's been an amazing ride. I'm proud of this new career mode we've built. It allows for you to expand your race team as an owner driver, just like I was. You make the decisions on which series you want to run and how you want to invest. But just like everything in racing, it all starts with a great performance on the track. That's how you're going to build the reputation to get sponsorships and ultimately drive the revenue to invest in your race team over time. You may even get some opportunities down the road that you weren't expecting, just like I did. You never know. I'll be keeping an eye on your progress. Good luck out there. I'm excited to see where this takes you. Got a lovely pep talk there from Tony Stewart. Tell us we can be all that we can be. All right, welcome to career. First, let's create your driver. Then we'll see what you got at the track. Sounds good to me. So first name, obviously going to put my name in here uh, and last name, which is going to kind of make things weird when we get to the the big blocks because, yeah, that's what we already have. But all right, cool. No problem. We'll move into the style of helmet we want and we'll uh, settle this up. Side decal, we'll throw a Ford on there. That works for me. Harness detail, uh, let's throw something else on there. Hoosier, yeah, Hoosier, that'll work. All right, I like that style of helmet. Let's move on to the next thing, which is our actual outfit coloring. So you can change up styles here if you'd like. Uh, I'm just gonna make, continue the uh, black and white look here. Uh, let's go with this one though. There we go, I like that, fantastic. Moving on to here, let's uh, get our uh, sponsor stuff all on here. I don't know what it's actually gonna be, so we're just gonna go with Ford. Uh, for everything for now until we later on get our uh, actual sponsorships and it makes sense to us so we're just going to be a generic uh joe blow for now all right there you you look good you look good all right team branding is next so let's go all the way over to custom here uh i like the lightning bolt actually we'll do fabiano racing here we go wonderful looks good to me starting series so you can start out in the street stocks us legend cars or the big block modified uh, zero dollars to start a new team in any of those the big block modifieds are actually a lot of fun to drive although we'll see ourselves out there we'll be racing with ourselves um but that's okay they are the most fun to drive we're going to do that one so let's go ahead and jump into a big block season so here we are greeted with team summary we've got uh, fabiana racing one active racing team right now uh and we're going to go to career options make sure this looks good to us uh, we've got advanced, uh, manual, off, yep, expert, light, beautiful, beautiful. Let's start the intro season. Uh, they gave us a default car, it looks like. Straight River Speedway to host prestigious sponsor showcase. Sponsors excited as sensational unsigned rookie Jeff Aviano set to make 
professional debut as well. It's not my first time, but uh, they're saying it is. So we'll continue on to Straight River. All right, we're at the uh, practice session now. I'm going to go ahead and just change out my setup because uh, last time you guys told me you had it way too loose, Jeff. You're absolutely right. And uh, actually tightening it up will make it better. So let's go ahead and just stick with 50% on this track and uh, see where we uh, end up here. Well, I'm definitely glad I don't have the... Uh, AI set up to Legend, man. They'd be absolutely destroying us because they're destroying us in expert mode as it is right now. As so uh, we're trying to get uh, a decent practice time here to hit our goal, but I don't think it's going to happen, honestly. Don't see it happening anytime soon. Uh, one thing that uh, we went over last time on the, the first look video was, you know, uh, we were running the bottom lane and that was the fastest lane all the way around the track. They have heard everybody's feedback on that. Uh, and they're already working on patch two that is going to allow for uh, upper groove racing. So multi-groove racing, in my opinion, is uh, is a win. We're going to try to uh, shorten up the uh, second gear here and see if we can get more speed out of this thing. We are red lighting this thing pretty good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to make that just a little taller of a gear. Yeah, we just don't have any speed, it looks like. Just like hardly anything compared to the rest of the guys. Uh, but it is the first race of our uh, career, and uh, that makes sense. So, yeah, we're just getting ran over out here. Well, let's go ahead and qualify and see if we can do anything here. I, I'm not expecting anything great, so you never know. Let's just focus up here and try to get some decent laps in and and uh, work our way up. I mean, you're not going to come into your career mode, you know, completely the best. So keep that in mind. There we go. Trying to get more smooth on the wheel here uh, instead of being too erratic with it. So yeah, we're hitting the limiter a few times there, but, I mean, we are trying to get everything we possibly can out of this thing. It's not going to be so easy on this uh, particular track since it does require a little bit more a little bit more power under the hood than what we have right now. So let's see where this put us. Uh, 60th. Yeah, terrible. I'm starting to wonder if it was even worth having them set to expert because they're going to destroy us. Top three advance to A main and the top two advance to the qualified dash. Let's do it. All right, ready to go green. I know I am. Here we go. Racing for the first time in our career mode. Whoa, 95 got crazy there. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're just going to destroy us, man. Absolutely destroy us. We might have to end up turning them down because we're not going to be going in and, and doing custom setups every single race. Just not going to happen. I think we might get lapped. I think they're going to actually lap us here. That's just how slow we are compared to everybody else. I'm well, getting in the wall too. Like an absolute rookie. Come on, let's get to the line before they lap us. Don't lap us. Tenth. All right, showcase one completed. Lincoln Welders is the only one that is interested in our terrible performance. Big Block Modified Preparation Season 1. Before you race your first season in Big Block Modified, you need to customize your team. You'll need to choose a sponsor and check out your car's paint job. All right, so we get to choose how we want to run our season. It could be a modified regulation with the 26 races. Uh, this only a 13 and this one of eight races. I say we just do the eight race one uh, since we're doing a short little guy here. Anyway, except the sponsor off for your team, there will be 26 races uh, next season. So initial payout 13663, payout per race is 4992. We have no options, so we're going to sign right here with Lincoln Welders. All right, time to edit our car. We already know what we want it to look like. All right, that's starting to look pretty good right there. I like that. Let's go ahead and uh, get our Lincoln Welders on everything. Mobile One in the back, uh, Kistler Engines. Okay, yeah, that's all working fine for me. We'll go to our number. Uh, and you can put like W2 if you wanted to. I just want to show you that it does work. You can put anything you want, 134, uh, that works. So the sky is the limit, but we're going to go with 27, of course. That is my number. Uh, Font-wise, I'm going to go with traditional short track racing with the uh, font 4 uh, and a little bit of italic happening there. Same thing on the top. Uh, oh, you can do it with the actual number on the side too. Uh, let's do that right there. The fill is looking good for that. The accent, uh, that can be uh, red. I don't care. Or we can just make it like a short track kind of uh, something. We'll go with that uh, gray one right there. That works for me. Wonderful. That looks pretty cool. I like it. Yes, I would like to save my changes. Thank you very much. There we go. 
New team rating. We got a star and an achievement. That's a nice car. Big block modified. One star. Looking terrible. Car upgrade 7%. Of 25%. All right, here's our team summary. We've seen that before. We have racing teams, uh, so we can always start another one if we would like. Uh, my vehicles, there it is right there. Um, eight of eight perform 7% upgraded. Yeah, so it needs a lot of love for sure. Uh, accounting, here's all our numbers. We've got 13,663 in the bank. No wins, no money is being, uh, has been won yet. Career history, here's our stats. If we want to see that you can also go into uh full stats and uh, it shows you the lifetime stats which is pretty cool across all series very nice indeed so those are the options there um i say we continue to season one uh this is the next race info screen here it displays useful information to help us prepare for the upcoming race uh car condition a summary of the current condition of the car you can see its performance upgrade state and if it needs repairs. So pretty much like what we saw in the Tony Stewart uh, sprint car uh, game. So we have season status to your current season standings, your progress toward your, uh, your sponsor goals, and any managers you've assigned to the series. So that's where we check all that out. We have sponsor goals right here. Your sponsors provide opportunities to earn extra money through sponsor goal contracts. If you successfully complete the requirements of the contract, you'll receive this specified payout. Okay, so we got easy, normal, and challenging. We're going with easy all the way. So the contracts you are offered will improve as your standings improve, of course. Uh, easy, 100%. Um, so we have start next event, hire a hot seat driver. So if we didn't want to race, we could actually spend money on getting a driver of a certain skill. Very reckless. I like how you have these options here to actually fill in and, and try to make you some money because we're starting to see that difference between you know being an owner and being a driver and etc. Uh, career options here. I'm really thinking we're going to just drop them down to hard. We're just going to get stomped. We already know we will. We'll save that. Um, we don't need to prove to anybody that uh, we're terrible. So uh, career options are good. And then manage company uh, screen here. This is the same thing we saw before. So if you're wondering how to get back to here, that's exactly how you do it. So this is the overview. We have the garage. Here is where we can buy, sell, and install an engine if we wanted to. We have 13,663. That's the first thing we need to upgrade if they will even let us do it. And uh, we can jump up here to a 13.6. So we'll have a total of $63 after it. It's worth it though. Let's do it. Yep, purchase and equip. I'm fine with that. We've installed it. Wonderful. Got an achievement for it. We have $63 to our name, but we have 1,095 fans. I don't know how that worked out, uh, but it did. So that's where we can go in and upgrade things uh, like that. So then we have the schedule here. So we know uh, what we got on the uh, the horizon and then sponsors, what's going on. Our current sponsor, Lincoln Welders. Uh, there's the other ones that will be available in showcase events. And then about me, there's my stats. How about that? You can edit your driver and your car from here. And again, you could look at the full series stats if you would like to from there. So back to the overview. Let's start the next event. We're in Georgia at Old Mill Raceway. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, car setup. I'm fine with it being a little tight in the middle. Let's uh, go out to practice to see if uh, if it, if it get, we can get anything done out of this. Let's try a 135 on this one. All right, up to speed now. And I'm seeing us driving on the limiter a little bit now, so that's good. Let's go ahead and try. We're still getting past like crazy though. Well, looks like a 12828 is going to be the best we can do here. The goal was 11020, not going to happen at all and not getting any sponsor bonuses or anything there. So let's go ahead and continue to the next session. All right, last lap. Let's try to make this one count and not get the car to uh, to hang out at the bottom of the track, even by a little bit of break. Still kind of difficult to do it. And a 12. <laughs> Eight seven five. Top four advance to A main. Top two advance to the qualify dash for heat five. Let's do it here at Old Mill. Maybe we'll be okay here. I don't know. We'll see. Green flag in the air. Here we go racing. Just need to uh, stay vigilant here. I just don't think we have any straight line speed like these guys do at all. But we're gonna try to do what we can to. Uh, Get on the back bumper of Brent here. Really, really sending it at that time. <laughs> almost, almost took him out doing it, but it's, it's to that point where, you know, when you start off a career, you're just, it's so frustrating to be so terrible constantly. And you know, you just have to, you know, grind and put your, uh, 
put your best foot forward to do anything with it. We are just absolutely terribly slow, and there's just nothing we can do about it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're already done with our race, and we finish last. Finishing 50th, dead last. Absolutely dead last. So the race payout finishing 50th is 7,178 and sponsor payouts 4,992. Merch sold $131 for our terrible driver, but we made $12,301. Man, must be nice. So it was moderate driving. You can see we have uh, engine uh, damage and chassis damage and suspension and tires. We're in fair condition now. So you can see where the money is starting to get eaten up pretty fast actually so that's old mill 50th yep and now we move on to desert rock all right so repairing all parts is 1358 and that's exactly what we're gonna do um for everything so we can get everything all the way back up now we can see if we can uh, do something else with the engine um that's 32 for the next one chassis uh, we can get 7550 for that we're gonna get more uh, max performance durability on that uh, 410 suspension uh, 6,000. So we have to choose what we really want to do here uh, when it comes to upgrading everything. So I think we'll just jump into chassis next. Let's do it. Purchase and equip it. I'm sure it'll be slow, but let's move on. The show must go on. Let's make the AI difficulty set to normal. Maybe they'll be somewhat raceable. I don't know until we move up, but you can always change that in the actual career. And I like that. So goals of 15, 5, 6, 7. We've ran a 15, 9, 2, 4 so far. Not absolutely terrible, but I think we can do better. I hope we can. We're pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. No, not going to happen. All right. We hit our goal of a 16.348. Nearly put it into the uh, off the track there for a second. I got excited. All right. Now we're seeing gains. That's what we want to see right there. So looks like normal was the sweet spot for the AI. And we finished 30th. Look at that. We're in heat, too. Are you kidding me? Starting eighth? <laughs> what? All right. We'll take that 100%. Let's do it. Top five advance to the A main and the top two advance to the qualified dash. Let's do everything we can here. Let's be smart. Remember, career mode. We're not We're not in a loaner car here. We want to take care of our equipment and not wreck everybody and our car in the same, you know, sense. Whoa, like that. I'm giving you room down there, dude. I'm giving you room. All right. Let's just run our race and... Let it come to us here. I don't want to be dead last, but uh, it seems like that is the trend of our career so far. Boy, they're throwing it in there pretty deep. You watch the line they're running. They're running the top of the track. Um, we have one lap to go here. So it was wishful thinking to think we would do something decent here, but at least we're not getting absolutely destroyed in lapped, you know? So that's a step in the right direction uh, that we can gladly take here and move on to the next... Uh, the next heat we might uh you know we'll, we'll drop down a class but at least we'll be competitive hopefully all right let's not screw up here ready to go green let's do it green flag in the air oh sorry 75 car got way sideways a lot quicker than i thought it would okay we're kind of hanging with these guys so far 61 what are you doing what are you doing there bud I'm trying to get my leaderboard up for you guys, but kind of difficult to do. And this at the same time. All right, we're passing somebody. What? What's happening here with that? Let's be smart. Whoa. All right, we're moving up. Moving on up. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're actually racing people. So it was worth, you know, making them set to normal. Because we're not doing, you know, all the custom setup work that uh, would be required if you were running the career mode on you know expert and legend modes or even hard mode you'd have to do something so keep that in mind if you're new to the game that's probably something worth looking at just adjust your gear ratios to get a, you know as much as you can out of the car but apart from that you know do what you can do a little contact there with that guy I don't know what that was about we're still trying here trying to get the car to rotate down below the this guy here but man it is it's tough to stay with them once you're there we're just running everybody over and that seems to be the uh the theme here for us there we go now we're driving the track a little better getting smoother on the wheel there we go slide it down in there nice and smooth there we go not fighting the car as much as we were before pretty much running it open 
full throttle on this track. We lost a lot of speed on that because of our uh, our execution in that corner wasn't very good. How many laps to go? A couple more. Three to go. Yep. 75. 48. Got real slow there, too. Let's go to the inside of him here. There, I had to jump out of the gas there, so I didn't wreck him completely out. That would have been bad. Sorry, 75. You're just... You, you're fast, and then you're super slow in the center of the corner compared to us. I don't know why. And now they're pulling away from us a little bit more, so... Who knows? One to go. Do everything we can here. Try not to get dead last. Come on. We just don't want dead last. Oh, man. Now they're really starting to pass us in the last lap. Send it, baby. Send it all the way down. Try to get everything you can out of it. Come on. 13th. <laughs> oh, we are so bad. Uh, still, it's better than, you know, dead last. And that is the final results. 33rd total out of uh was it 40 spots look like uh okay let's see what we ended up as far as race earnings go we had 6,710 as a race payout okay 11,886 we're walking away with there sponsor paid us out and merch sold 184 so there you go practice gold missed yeah well we know one sponsor goal on that one and you can see there comes everything down didn't do too much damage but uh we're still going to be in fair condition at least it's not poor up next is going to be ridge bluff okay so it's a triangle the tricky triangle um let's go into our garage and we're going to repair everybody of course uh we have 13767 so i think now we can upgrade the suspension um that'll help us a little bit there and maybe we can jump up some tires as well uh 7717 so we can indeed jump up to some durability already 20 compounds let's do it equip them maybe we'll get something better out of this thing look at the banking on this track pretty crazy and then a hard left here it's easy to slide out and almost hit the uh, wall on that one. So we need to find a, a sweet spot there, but not seeing a whole lot of speed in the car right now, but we're doing everything we can. That is for certain to try to meet our uh, practice goal for our sponsors to be happy. All right, we're just out here uh, getting warmed up for our qualifying run. Didn't do good in practice at all. I slow way down for that corner, man. It is a tricky one. It's all about how you enter these corners. Having to use brake actually a lot more than I thought I would for this one. This embankment here helps though. So our goal is a 16-104. Can we do it? That's the real question. There we go. Got to apex that just right. Same thing for this one because you end up sliding so far wide on the exit of turn one. Slide down into there. Do what we can do. Get all the speed you can here and then pitch this thing way down. Drive it deep off the corner see where we end up here nah wasn't very good 40th all right ready to go green there we go let's just try to survive this thing right we're never going to be that good in the uh in the first heat we're in we know that just don't have the speed that these guys have we'll do what we can but not expecting a whole lot here man they are really driving circles around us today but that is what the career mode's all about. You know, it's the grind of getting better and better as time goes on. And uh, I can uh, see myself playing this on stream and having a good time with it. The career mode and maybe eventually getting to the point where I know how to properly set up a dirt car because I don't know anything about that. Although if you guys want to check out some uh, dirt setup stuff, uh, my buddy Red... He's a uh, NASCAR Heat Pro League uh, driver. I will have his channel linked in the description below. You can check it out. And uh, he has amazing setups for this stuff. He's got a true talent when it comes to setting the cars up. And it makes a world of a difference. So I might just uh, end up checking out some of his setups and, and going that route myself. Because this is pitiful. And dead last. Gotta love it. It's time for the B main. Top five. Advance the A main. We're not going to be top five. Come on now. Let's be real. We, got, we need our expectations to be very realistic here. All right, green flag in the air. 
But we know that we're not terribly slow in this main. We'll see if it changes. Ooh, hello. We do have a little bit of competition when it comes to that. This is a tough track, man, being a triangle like this. Ooh, sliding. I knew we were going to hit somebody there. I knew that was going to happen. It's a matter of just trying to figure out how much you can get away with with the other drivers around you. 61 there. I'm trying not to wreck. I promise you, I'm trying not to wreck anybody. I'm just trying to survive a race. That's all I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I'm not trying to do it in a dirty way. It's just sometimes these guys are real slow in certain spots that I'm not. This corner here has really gotten me so many times. It's tough. Seven laps to go. White flags in the air, and we've got nothing for this field. Absolutely nothing. We're just really, really bad. No matter how you swing it. And that will be that. All right, I'm ready for that race to be over. My God. 20th. We end up dead last in the standings at Ridge Bluff. We made 10,944. Terrible money. Moderate driving got us fair, fair, and poor on the suspension. No. It's time for the showcase at Mesa View. We need to try to do something here to uh, make some sponsors happy. So we're going to definitely try that. Let's go to the garage and we will uh, go ahead and repair everything here. That needs to be done. And uh, we have 9,403 left over. I don't think we have enough for anything really, even uh, suspension, tires. We, we're pretty much maxed on everything we can be right now. So it's just gonna come down to if we can get something out of this car. Well, this race was a whole lot of nothing. Couldn't get anything done here for any sponsors to be happy with anything. We suck. We end up making 14885 on that, but uh, I think we just need to save up for an engine. That's really all we can do. So as you can see, when you first start out in your career, you're going to be terrible. Um, I do suggest, you know, dropping the AI level down until you're ready for that. If you want to be around other cars, because you saw even on normal, we were just getting stomped nonstop. So there you go. The performance of the showcase is impressive. Yeah, our current sponsor, I'm sure they are really impressed with us. Uh, yeah, we know. Don't care about the goal because it's not going to happen. Uh, terrible, terrible. New manager available. Look at this. Managers help run your teams effectively through business negotiations and promotions. So Calvin Walsh is our new business manager. Sponsor goal bonus is 2.5 and merch bonus is 0. Point, uh, there. So managers. Now you can now hire managers at the new tab off of the home screen. So this is all part of it right here. Sponsor goal always on easy. Not even going to try uh, at all. Not going to happen. All right, so let's go to manage company, and we will jump over here to uh, managers. And there he is right there, team managers. Each serious team uh, has room for one business manager and one facility manager. These managers will help you earn more at the race or help you save more in the garage. Okay, so we'll hire Mr. Uh, Calvin Walsh because he's the only one we can really hire. So... We'll do exactly that, and we'll assign him to that. There we go. We don't have a facility manager uh, yet, but uh, there's none for hire right now either. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this look at the career mode. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you want me to continue my career mode, um, I think I'm going to have to drop them down a little bit more so we have uh, more to work with. If not, I'm probably going to just jump over onto Twitch and stream this and I'll put the uh, videos of my progress on the Fabian Live channel. If you don't know what that is, it's my second channel. Uh, I want to thank uh, Next Level Racing for the uh, GT track I'm always in. I always forget to uh, thank those guys. Um, you know, this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. Uh, they, uh, they've uh, provided me with the GT track and I love it. So everything I use is in the description below. You can check it out there. Be sure to check out Red's channel as well. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I get asked all the time, do I have any merch available or when are you bringing back the JF logos and some other fun ones that Nicole has done recently? You can check out the link in the description below or you can uh, look below the video and it should be there uh, so you can go directly to the store. But uh, just want to say thank you all for the support.